All right, guys, welcome back. We are now going to be taking some notes on solving proportions using five strategies. The first strategy we will use is the ratio table. So if we open up our little notes. Number one, I'm just going to put ratio table up top so we know what strategy we are using. The ratio of yellow to orange marbles is four to five. So yellow to orange. Yellow came first, that's why it is on top. Orange came second, that's why it's on bottom. It says the ratio is four to five. So for every four yellow, there are five orange. Now it says if there are 45 marbles in the bag, how many are yellow and how many are orange? Well, actually, we're just going to fill in this table. My yellows are going by fours. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20. And my oranges are going by fives. So that'd be five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, but it says there's a total of 45 marbles. So what we're going to do is we're, going to, we're just going to add down every single time. So if you have four marbles, four yellow, and five orange, that is nine total. Eight and ten is eighteen. Twelve and fifteen gives you twenty-seven. Sixteen and twenty gives you thirty-six. Twenty and twenty-five gives you forty-five. So we're looking for the one with a total of 45 marbles, which is this one right here. So let's go and answer the question. How many are yellow? 20 yellow. And 25 orange marbles. And there's your answer. And there's the first strategy, using the ratio table. Okay, I'm going to flip it back to the front side, see what our second strategy is. Our second strategy says scale factor within ratio or rate. So scale factor within ratio or rate. This one actually sounds good right now. We have a flavor of frozen yogurt has 27 calories in three ounces. How many calories are in seven ounces of frozen yogurt? So we are comparing calories to ounces. How do I know calories came first? It tells us right there, calories came before the ounces. So for every 27 calories, it is three ounces. Now the question says how many calories, so this is what we're solving for, if you have seven ounces. Okay, now we're gonna have to figure out our scale factor. Most times when we do scale factor, we go from left to right, but that's not the only way you can do it. You can go from left to right, you can go from right to left, you can go from up to down, or you can go from down to up. Now on this one, if we go from left to right, that's not a good scale factor to go from three to seven. That's gonna give us a pretty terrible decimal. But I'm actually gonna go from down to up. It's a nice little scale factor. To go from three to 27, what did I multiply by? Yeah, I multiplied by nine. So your scale factor is multiplying by nine. So seven times nine will give us 63. So your answer is 63 calories. Now remember, whenever we're talking about scale factor, you are either multiplying or dividing. You do not add and you do not subtract. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the front, see what our third strategy is. Third one says scale factor between ratios and rates.
All right, so here we go now. Number three. On a map, the scale reads two centimeters to five kilometers. If two cities are eight centimeters apart, how many kilometers apart will they be? So if you notice, centimeters goes first. It goes on top. Kilometers came second. It goes on bottom. It tells us for every two centimeters, it is five kilometers. If the two cities are eight centimeters apart, how many kilometers? So we're solving for this one specific thing. Scale factor. To go from two to eight, multiply by four. So five times four would give us 20. It is 20 kilometers away. Well, that one was nice and easy. All right, two more to go. The fourth one we're going to do, I haven't really showed this one to the students, but I think it's pretty basic. This is called transformations, simplifying the ratio or rate. All right, here we go. A glacier moves about 15 inches every 10 hours. About how far does the glacier move in 24 hours? So we're talking about movement of inches versus hours. Okay, now look at this one. This one's different. This is a really big WAN chart. Words, original, new, and new. I've never shown the students having two news. So it says the glacier moves 15 inches in 10 hours. Now here's where the first new comes in. We are going to simplify 15 over 10. What number goes into both of them? Well, 5 does. 15 divided by 5 gave us a new of 3. 10 divided by 5 gave us a new of 2. So all we did was take my original information and simplify it down to our new information. Our other new information says, how far does the glacier move? So this is what we're solving for in 24 hours. Now this is much easier to deal with. To go from 2 to 24, what did you multiply by? You multiplied by 12. 3 times 12 will give us 36. So the glacier moved 36 inches in 24 hours, which is actually very interesting. Okay, last one. Again, I haven't showed this one to the students, but I think it's pretty basic. I think once they see it one time, it's, they'll get it. It's called the butterfly method. Okay, four students spent $9.40 on school lunch. At this rate, how much would 10 students spend on the same lunch? So here we are comparing the number of students versus money. So it tells us four students spent $9.40. Now, if we have 10 students, how much would they spend? All right, so here's where the butterfly method comes into play. You do cross multiplication. So 940 times 10, and then 4 times, I'm just going to call it x because it's unknown. We don't know what it is. Well, 4 times x, you just combine it. That's 4x. So we're going to do a little bit of algebra here in a minute. All right, and let's just go ahead and multiply. Second row out of 0, 1 times 0, 
1 times 4, 1 times 9. But remember, I had to move my decimal two places from the back. So move it back two places, you should get 94. So we have 94 is equal to the 4 times x, which gave us 4x. So here's how you read this. 94 is equal to 4 times some unknown number. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite operation. The opposite of multiply is to divide. And I'm going to divide in, by the number in front of the x. In this case, it is 4. So what is 94 divided by 4? 4 can go into 9 two times. 4 can go into 14 three times. 4 can go into 20 five times. So it would be $23.50 is your answer. Now, when you are solving these um, ratios, proportions, and all that, you have five different strategies. I'm not going to force you to use any one in specific. You just need to use the one that helps you out the best. But we're just showing that there's more than one way to solve a problem. Okay? So whichever one helps you out the best, whichever of these strategies helps you out the best to solve these problems, then use it. Maybe you're a person that needs to see a table. Maybe you're a person that sees the within ratio, the scale factor. Maybe you're the between. Again, whatever helps you to solve these problems. All right, guys. See you on a little bit.